Welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so, so that we can bring you the latest news as they come. And together, we shall support our great leader, Mazen Namdekano, IPOB, Eastern Security Network, to make our Biafran dream a reality. He said, Hausa leaders in the northern Nigeria cries out in support of the Yoruba Afeni Ferry. They said that if Igbo had ruled Nigeria, that Nigeria would have been competing with Western nations. But the Fulani Janjawi deceived all the whole tribes in Nigeria. They lied and made them believe that Igbos are the enemies or their enemies. That was the big lie they told them. But now they have realized that even after ruling Nigeria for so many years, the Fulani Janjawi did not develop the North. According to a United Nations report, it says that 70% of Nigerians in Kasina State, Buhari's home state, live below poverty line. And he has been ruling for close to eight years. He has ruled before. He has been in power before. Yet, he states they have over 70% of Nigerians in that state living below poverty line. So you can see that tribal person or same religion person does not bring progress to your village, state, and community. And that is why the North is very backward. Despite ruling Nigeria for more than 45 years, out of about 60 years since Nigerian independence in, on October 1st, 1960. My brothers and my sisters, the reason why it's not working is because from the start, from the beginning, Nigeria was not designed to work. The British government, out of their selfish interests, handed Nigeria over to the Fulani Janjaweed, who are clueless, incompetent, and they ruined the whole country. And Nigeria is a false, fraudulent marriage. It's a false contraption. It cannot work. You know, the solution to Nigerian problems is disintegration and not election, which is a fraudulent election process for Fulani elite selfish agenda. You know, the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Horiwa, has won that the Fulani Jihadist Nigerian government, led by Buhari Imposto, that they should release Mazen and the Kano unconditionally, now and immediately, because there will be doom in Nigeria if anything unbecoming happens to Mazen and the Kano at the solitary confinement at the criminal DSS facility. A word. They said is enough for the wise. He that has an ear, let him hear. The Human Rights Advocacy Group lamented that Mazin Amdekano has been illegally detained by the criminal Fulani Nigerian Jihadist government in a solitary confinement, DSS cell, without bail for over 14 months for committing no offense against Nigeria. Since Mazen Amdekano was kidnapped from Kenya, 
Maze nam de Kanu's lawyer, barrister, Ifanye Jofor last week, raised alarm how the criminal DSS was patronizing a substandard local chemist owned by one useless aboki to buy fake drugs for Mazen Amdekano, who is said to be suffering from excruciating pain occasioned by gastrointestinal disorder. Harewa warned Buhari Imposter to release Mazen Amdekano on health grounds to starve off the unprecedented consequence of anything happening to him in detention, given his near mosaic support base globally. Harewa blasted Justice Binta Yanko of the Federal High Court, Abuja, for dragging food or food dragging on the bail application of Mazen Amdekano. You know, the full and the way. They think they are wise. They think they are smart. Forgetting that all of them went to school by quota system. You know, 80% um, of them in public service are either grade 2 teachers. You know, but they promote them and give them high positions. And that is why Things are not working in Nigeria. The leader of Pan Yoruba Group and respected statesman, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, has defended and justified their support for P2B and Southeast region, saying that the Volani Janjaweed and Yorubas cannot continue to demand that Igbo people remain in Nigeria while they, at the same time, continue to brutally marginalize and exclude Igbos from the power dynamics in the zoo called Nigeria. We thank and respect Chief Ayo Adebajo as Biafrans, a man with conscience. The truth is that we Biafrans have crossed the Rubicon and there is no going back. There is no going back on our struggle for Biafran restoration. Even the Bible said that no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. We have crossed the Rubicon. We don't need their presidency in the zoo. What we need is Biafran restoration to independence. We want independence. We don't want to be in the zoo called Nigeria. We thank him and his group for supporting Ibiafran. But that is not our ultimate goal. Our goal is to have our separate nation. We don't want to cohabit with the Fulani Janjaweed. Very ungrateful people. You know, the legislative moves to legalize power rotation in Nigeria across the six geopolitical zones suffered a setback in the Senate during planetary because of the Fulani Janjaweed. The bill sponsored by Senator Patrick Abba Moro, PDP Benway South, was to pass second reading after his lead debate but it was vehemently opposed by Fulani senators. They opposed it. Abba Mauro, despite explaining that such a legislation, if passed into law, would not only promote the principle of equity, fairness, and justice among the various geopolitical divides, but also ensure the sense of belonging required for nationhood of a heterogeneous country like Nigeria. But the Fulani senators shut him down. First to reject the move was a Fulani terrorist senator, Bala Ibn Naala, APC Kebi South, who said the bill should have been presented 
as one seeking for amendment of relevant provision of the fraudulent 1999 Nigerian Constitution that favors the full and Janjaweed, and not just one seeking for legislation from the Senate or by extension the National Assembly. This is the more reason why Biafra must be restored. Because the full and 1999 Constitution has given them so much power to oppress and dominate the owners, the indigenous tribes in Nigeria. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.